2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Quite the attire on the Pistons as they made their way through the tunnel earlier. They're geared up to give their fans a big treat here at home tonight. The giant fist of Joe Lewis announcing Detroit as the setting of our broadcast today. Welcome to this Sunday afternoon edition of the NBA here on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Detroit Pistons going up against the Utah Jam. This is Kevin Harlan, and joining me tonight, Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, with our Hall of Famer, David Aldrich, reporting from the sideline. Let's check out the Western Conference standings right now that we're here in the new year. Taking a look at Utah, fourth in the conference, an excellent season so far for them, though they'd like to jump into the top tier, maybe the top three. Right now for the Jazz, this hasn't been the breakout season that many were predicting, but they're still very much in the hunt for a high postseason seed, and that will keep them focused here during the season's final stages. Uh, uh, yeah, they'll be there in the playoffs, I'm sure of that. It's just a matter of how high they'll be seated. And David Aldridge is standing by for our pregame report. David, good evening. Kevin, thank you very much. We know Rudy Gobert is ultra competitive, but he knows it's not about winning his individual matchup. He said, it's a five on five game, a team concept. That's always been my mindset. Obviously, I take pride in being the best defensive player in this league, but I play to win. That's my focus. Kevin? Thanks, David. That's David Aldridge, our NBA Hall of Famer. Well, we've seen some head coaching changes, Greg. We're early in the season. How long does it take to fully implement, do you think, a, a new system with a new coach? You know, it's a tough question, Kevin. It really can, can depend on how difficult or complicated the system is. But all things being equal, the, the experienced teams often learn faster because they just understand the game better. The starters for the Utah Jazz, Conley and Mitchell, the talented backcourt pair. Bogdanovich out there with O'Neal. And it's Gobert in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Detroit, they've got Griffin. He's out there with Jackson. Then there's Jeremy Grant. And it's Plumley in at the five. Here's Griffin. Ready by Bogdanovich. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Jazz. And it's Bogdanovich off the drive. Gobert against Griffin. Here's Hayes. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Mitchell against Jackson. And it's Mitchell missing. And it's Detroit's ball. Here's Griffin, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. Utah called for the foul. An absolute behemoth inside. Griffin excels at using his size and athleticism to draw the foul. This is his first free throw of the game. A 78% foul shooter a season ago. Pretty steady when he's at the line. Two shots. Last on the first. And he makes the first. And Blake Griffin, the combination of power and agility, that guy is a handful inside. Yeah, G.A., he can finish with either hand. He favors that right block, and he's got an array of moves down there to keep you guessing. Blake Griffin hits them both. And when Griffin is healthy, he's an effective player. A double-double threat who's tough to match up against. O'Neal kicks to Bogdanovich. Bottom minute played so far here in the first. Second chance shot, and Grant sends it back. Here's Hayes. Pass to Griffin. Poked away, stolen by O'Neal. Here's Bogdanovich. He can't hit that time. And Detroit the other way now. 
Here's Grant, and the layup's good off the glass. He's so aggressive at that end of the floor, and that's a quality all great scorers have. Now here's Conley, covered by Hayes. And the foul called on Killian Hayes. That is his first foul of the game. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And early in a game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. Bogdanovich. You got to give him credit for his confidence. I mean, he hasn't hit a single shot this quarter, but he still keeps firing. I mean, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots out there. Now the pass to come. Offensive rebound. O'Neal. Off target at the rim. Man, when the ball's in his hands, that's as high percentage as it gets. It's just a fluke miss. Hayes finds Griffin. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. Let's use this break to look at the teams that over the past month have been tremendous at converting turnovers into points. In the third spot, the Pistons. And you always like to see aggressive defense. And then when you can convert mistakes into points offensively, that's a big key. For the Jazz. Derek Favors checked in for O'Neal. Joe Ingles comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's Clarkson in for Mike Conley. 139 left in the first. Clarkson passes to Gobert. Back to Clarkson. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And the thing about Clarkson, he really plays with an edge, especially once he gets it up inside. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And going back to his performance at the line last year, guys, 84% as a free throw shooter. Doomboy is checked in for Blake Griffin. George Niang, he's checked in for the Jazz. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Now the free throw is good, now leading by one. Former first team all rookie after being picked in the second round. Clarkson, a draft day steal. Right, looking around. This is it to Okafor. The kick out to Rose. Utah with the rebound. They put up a nice win against the Bucks the last time out. Yeah, their long-range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer when you're on the road. They were flat out sniping from deep. They looked very comfortable pulling the trigger on the road. Rose. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. For Detroit, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Yeah, last year, collectively, only 74% from the line. And that one falls for Okafor. Both free throws good for Mokafor. Here's Niang. Pass to Mitchell. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. One of the more powerful young guards in our game. Mitchell loves to attack the heart of the defense. Here's Rose. Makes it off the glass. 
And, and once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Now, here's Clarkson. Playing Milwaukee, he was nearly unstoppable. Here's Favors. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Jaleel Okafor. And with deceptive speed and a lengthy wingspan, defenders can sometimes just get stuck fouling favors. The Jazz have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. He's perfect from the line this time. 17 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Rose surveying the D. With one on the clock. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Rose has got his second basket. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Jazz lead by one. Live from Little Caesars Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And the guys, what's your take on Utah so far?